going on guys? So, sitting here waiting on the mail lady. She has my new screen and my new screen, or my new case and my new screen protector with her that I ordered. <clears throat> I have the new Galaxy S20 phone, which is not so new anymore, but still pretty new phone. It's a thousand dollar phone my wife bought me. We don't have a plan. We, we do everything with cash and we don't have any type of, uh, like plans or anything like that. So we have basically go phone accounts with really nice phones. Because we like to rock and we like to party. <laughs> yeah, Cause we're, we don't like to have, we had a plan before and it was a complete disaster. So we went this way and it's cheaper, better, faster. No problem. She has the $45 plan with the auto pay drops it down to forty dollars a month. I have the sixty-five dollar unlimited plan with auto pay drops it down to sixty bucks a month. Hard to complain. Hard to complain. There's no extra fees. There's no extra bullshit. It is what it is. So, but yeah, this is the front-facing camera. It's a pretty good phone. I like. I like how light it is. Like I have the S8 Active phone, and that phone is an awesome phone. Don't get me wrong. Like that phone has been one of the by far toughest phones I've ever owned, owned, hands down. It's put up with my bullshit, and that phone's still worth a couple hundred bucks. So I'm I'm really happy with that phone. But yeah, I'm getting ready to go to Texas. I uh I got a uh, hot tub load going down to Texas. I don't even know what part of Texas yet. I'm not even sure. I should have been gone by now, but. The male lady has my new screen protector and my new case. I got a ballistic case from uh, ballisticphonecases.com. They got, they have awesome phone cases. I used to have a Nexus 6. If anybody ever had a Nexus 6 phone, you could buy a ballistic phone case through them. And their phone cases were, were awesome. On my S8 Active, they didn't make a phone case for that. Ballistic, they quit making them. Because they were losing their asses, so they they went to only making phone cases for Apple phones. Well, now they started making them for for Galaxy phones again. So I immediately went there and bought one. They're a little pricey. I think I ended up getting it shipped to the house for thirty bucks. It's a little expensive, I get it, but it has a twelve foot drop radius. Like you can toss that thing up in the air and it'll hit the ground, and it's supposed to guarantee to protect your phone. So. Not that I'm going to do that, because that's just crazy. But I love how light this phone is. This phone is super duper light. Compared to my S8 Active phone, it weighs, it's like a, a featherweight. And I'm scared to death that I'm going to break it, guys. Like, I'm scared to death that I'm going to drop it. It's going to slip and fall out of my hands. Like, it's so slippery. It's so smooth. Like, I don't know why they make the phones like that. Why wouldn't they put some sort of, like, a texture on them? Like, a te like. I'm telling you, if it was me and I was making a phone case, I would put some sort of like texture, like the new bows are like that, like the new the new compound bows. They got away from that slick silk fucking slippery shit, and they started making them with like a matte finish with kind of like a like a textured paint or whatever. Why why wouldn't they do something like that with a with a fucking cell phone? You don't want that thing to be slippery and slip out of your hand like you're trying to eat a fucking banana and jack off at the same time. That's retarded. I don't know why they do that. Like, I don't know. Maybe they do that on purpose so that you drop your phone and you break it and you have to buy a new one. Maybe that's the whole plan. I can't imagine that's the plan. I'm guessing that they're doing that because, you know, they think that it's little girls using the phones and the little girls want it to be fucking nice and, you know, pretty and sexy and fun and, and cute to look at, but... Joey coming up the road. You don't even know I'm in the truck. I'm setting in my pickup. That's the driveway. Joey going up the hill. Cousin Joey. Hey, uh, I uh, I don't know why they do that. I don't. I don't know why. Unless that, that that's just what they think that you know. If it's not if it's not slippery and and it's not fucking shiny, then people won't buy it. But I think. I think they're missing a big market on that. I do. Sorry for not having my teeth in. I can't... I don't know. I can't take having them in and trying to talk at the same time. I got to put some more stuff in them. And I just don't wear them that often anymore. I don't, if I don't need them, I don't wear them. If I don't, have to, if I don't have to have them in, I don't wear them. I don't... 
I don't give a fuck what I look like. If you got a problem with how I look without my teeth, then don't watch. You already shut it off. If you have a problem with me not having my teeth, then you already shut it off. You didn't make it to five minutes in, so it's, it's not a big deal. I don't give a shit. Obviously, I don't care. So, what you think of me is not that big of a deal. I really don't care. I don't even know what this video is about. I really don't know. I'm just rambling on. Just, you know, hanging out with Mike. Uncle Mike. Chilling out. Having a good old time. Waiting on the mailman. Talking about my new phone situation. And I got a bow coming. I uh, I have an RX-1, Hoyt RX-1 bow. It's a really nice bow. And I want rid of it because it doesn't fit me right. I don't like shooting it. I don't enjoy it anymore. It's got a nice draw. It feels good in your hand and everything. It just It's just not what I wanted. It's I got sold on it thinking that I had to have a longer bow, and he was way wrong, and, and I didn't realize that the guy was a dickhead to begin with, and I didn't realize all that, and I should have known better, but, but I didn't, so it is what it is, and, uh, so, I ended up trading a bow for the same year Matthew's bow, I got a Matthew's Triax, and it's supposed to be coming in the mail, and the mailman fucked it up, comes Matthew and I don't know if you see me sitting in my truck or not <laughs> uh, I don't know I'm just fucking off waiting on the mail lady hopefully she'll be here soon she's been coming around like 2 o'clock I don't know I'm just rambling on guys making a video trying to make some content uh, we got not a lot of snow, but it was pretty here the other day. I walked around and made a big long video and posted it on Facebook. I put two of them on there. One that's like 8 minutes long, and another one's like 16 minutes long. 15 minutes long, something like that. I don't know exactly how long it is, but I don't know. I had fun. I was just walking through the woods having a good old time, but... I just wanted to try making a video with this, see how it sounded and everything. Like I said, I'm just sitting in my pickup bullshit in here. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I had fun with my kids this weekend. I didn't get to spend a whole lot of time with them, but, you know, I got, I got to spend more time with them than I have in a while, and that was really freaking awesome. It was really, really freaking awesome. Me and Gavin, we lit up them little rabbits and little pricks. We lit them little assholes right up. We shot, like, somewhere between six and eight, maybe more than, I don't know exactly how many. We ended up bringing, I think, five or six home and skinned them up and ate them, and they were freaking delicious, uh, the ones I ate were pretty damn good anyhow, I don't know, they said that they liked the ones that they took home, they cooked them at their house, they turned out pretty good, I guess, that's what my daughter said, and she helped me cook supper, we made chicken and french fries, it wasn't nothing special, but we took chicken and we breaded it, and then we put seasoning and, and flour, we just took just regular flour, salt, pepper, uh, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of uh, seasoned salt. Rolled the chicken in an egg. We rolled the chicken in egg and then rolled that around in flour and threw that in a frying pan with some coconut oil. Oh, I thought it was delicious. They liked the other breaded stuff. We had bagged breaded chicken. They liked that better, but, you know. When they get older, hopefully they'll hate that kind of shit because they ate too much of it when they were younger. I don't know. That stuff's good, too, I guess. I don't know. I just, I like to do that kind of stuff myself. I don't know why. It is what it is. It, like, it was more crispier. That's the way they liked it. I don't like it real crispy like that. So that's probably why I don't like it like that. But, I don't know. That's enough rambling, I guess, for up to 10 minute video. I just wanted to put a little update out there. Super happy. Super lucky. Blessed, you know. Everything's going great. So... Got into a spat with Bauer this morning. She's mad at me. I was being an asshole when I knew it. Too proud to apologize, though. So. <laughs> oh, he's got to be a dick, I guess. I don't know. Wasn't trying to be a dick. It just come out that way. Feel bad for her. What are you going to do? Ain't nothing you can do about it. Move on. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Hit the bell. Blah, blah, blah. If you want to.
try and pump out another one this week out on the road somewhere. See what happens. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Please. Ah.